Hi, it's Therese in Lost in Paper and it's all about the case again today. And today I'm going to case this card from Marion Vag, and it is amazing. I'm choosing a very different style of flower than what she's used in her set. This is a Stampandus stamp set called Ranunculus and it's no longer available. And I actually looked at the date on the back of it and it's from 2009. <laughs> But there is a similar stamp, it's called Ranunculus or Ranuncular Field and I'll link that one at my blog instead. But it's already set up, um, ready to go, that stamp. This one you can actually create your own sort of posy of flowers or group of flowers. I'm going to use the grouped flower images here and I have some watercolour cardstock. It's the Tim Holtz one and I'm using the rough side and that's why I use my Misty there just to make sure I got a good impression but I did decide to just freehand stamp the rest of the you know the leaves and stems of the roses or the ranunculus so how I was inspired by Marion's card was by having like the posy of flowers and also the gorgeous bright colors that she's used and I don't know if you've ever visited her blog before but uh, it's called Maid Marion and she has the most amazing cards there they're always bright and cheerful and so beautifully made so I'll put the link for her blog and the um, link to her particular card in the description below otherwise head on over to my blog and you can find it all there so I'm using my Tombow markers today and I'm using them as a watercolour. I'm both using them direct to the cardstock as well as I like to scribble them off on the blocks and then I can pick up um, the colour that way with my brush. So I do allow this to air dry in between layers. So I just think it gives a better watercolour look and then I can add depth after. Now I will list all the colours that I've used today and I'm going to be back when all of the colouring is done. So Marion had a coloured panel behind her floral design so I decided to do the same thing here and I've used a bright pink one and uh, what I've done is just marked and cut off an angle of the watercolour cardstock and now I'm going to stamp my greeting and I want to do this on an angle so I'm using my Misty to hold it in place and some onyx black ink it says happy birthday to you and it's from an Alter new set called birthday greetings. And now it's time to assemble my card. So I've got the hot pink cardstock and I'm using, it's got the same size as my card front, which is 15 by 10 and a half centimeters. I'm using my ATG gun to 
apply some adhesive and then I'm just going to adhere this direct to the card front. I've already added some fun foam to the back of my watercolour panel and I've used uh, score tape because I find that works really well. There wasn't a lot of warping on this watercolour panel because the Tombow markers you don't actually need a lot of water to activate them. And the score tape holds that really well. And I'm just looking at it now and thinking, mm, it does need something else. So I decided to add three sprinkles. These are the licorice the black ones from Sprinkleberry and using my matte medium to adhere those in place. So thank you so much, Marion, for letting me case your beautiful card. I hope that I've done it justice. Okay, I'll be back again real soon. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.